all right there we go and welcome back to another installment here on the lazy genius tarot and bazaar today i have another unboxing for you um i just got it in the mail from amazon and um here's the amazon pouch i've already busted it open because there was something in here that wasn't tarot related that i had to get out of the bag here but Today, I got in the 100% plastic writer tarot deck. So, the 100% plastic yellow box. Uh, I have been waiting on getting this one because it's supposed to be the one that you can use outside in the elements, waterproof, tear proof, damage proof, the whole nine. Give me just one second. Let me grab some scissors so I can get through the plastic and we will get to getting looking at the cards here. All right, and I got my scissors, and I grabbed my 91, uh, my early 90s, rather, somewhere between the 91 and 94, I believe, uh, yellow box here, just so that we can compare card stock to see what the plastic ones feel like in comparison. Let me go ahead and get through this here. The box is a cool kaleidoscoping box. Looks like the cards are wrapped in plastic. Plastic's pretty easy to get through though. It didn't make that one too difficult. And then, as always, the two title cards and the little white book put those off to the side here in the box I really like this box it's super sturdy um, I don't think that the box itself is waterproof but uh, it is definitely a sturdy box I like the way that it's put together okay Make some room for that on the shelf. And then here we have the backs, classic plaid back, and the cardstock is it feels thin and it's super flexible. These are probably gonna riffle shuffle amazingly. Um but even though they definitely feel thin, they almost, I would almost say they feel flimsy, right? Because like, but then it bounces right back. No bow in the card, nothing. Um, yeah, they almost feel flimsy, but they're durable. It's supposed to be waterproof and tearproof. Um, we'll just take a look at the major arcana here. As it came out, and then we will. You know what? Hold on. Is this card still in order? Probably not. I know I've been reading with it. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll hold off on that. We will just take a look through the majors here. I'll do a comparison video of this one versus the. Uh, other yellow boxes that I have. I actually have one, two, I have three more yellow boxes coming in. And then once I get those in, I'm going to go through the process of dating them. I will probably reach out to uh, the channel Melissa Zupan. I don't think that's her actual like real name, um, but that is her channel name. I'll probably reach out to her and Brant over at Moon Baby. Um, to see if they can help me to date the decks. Um, I really like the colors in the plastic version, actually. Hold on, let me see if I can fish out the lover's card from the 91, or the early 90s, rather, yellow box that I have. Just for a quick comparison, where's that lover's card? So here's the lover's card from the 91 yellow box. You see here in the 
new plastic edition. The colors are definitely a little bit more vibrant. Um, it looks like they've brightened everything up a little bit. Um, see changes in colors between like the snake on both of the cards. It's greener here. Uh, the leaves are much greener. The sky is a deeper blue. All of the colors in the angel and the yellows are much deeper. Um, so yeah, definitely a shift in coloration there. But like I said, um, I've got a couple of other RWS decks on their way for as far as yellow boxes are concerned. And then once I get them dated and sort of start building up a timeline there, I will be doing a larger RWS comparison or a few of them rather where we compare yellow boxes versus the other um, editions of the yellow box and then um, you know I also have the study deck and the 1909 art restoration deck which are supposed to be uh, you know pretty much the closest thing that we're going to be able to get to holding a 1909 or 1910 deck without actually spending the two thousand dollars to buy one whenever one surfaces here's the hermit um, so I'm going to compare those up against this, uh, you know, the other RWS decks that I have, um, as well. So I definitely got quite a few RWS comparison videos in the works. Um, I'm sort of at this point right now, just waiting on the three other yellow boxes that I have on the way to me to get here. And then I will start the process for recording those videos. Um, like I said, we're only going to go through the majors here just because it's the RWS deck. Um, so, you know, everybody's seen the images, the colors in this one are definitely, um, a little bit more saturated, a little bit brighter, um, than at least the 90, the early nineties version that I have. Um, here we still see the details though, and the banner, the sunflower down here in the corner and the little squiggly line up there at the top the world and then of course you know fresh out of the box the fool always comes at the back of the arcana there and here we can even see that the back of the fool has those deep sort of deeper yellows it's not quite mustard um so they haven't really darkened it up too much but it is definitely a deeper yellow than the uh, sort of brighter yellow that we see in earlier decks. Um, now, just as a quick comparison for um, card stocks, right? Because we are dealing with the plastic deck now. Um, here, like I said, the early 90s plaid back. And the new plastic deck. So if you can see, it's actually a little bit thicker, just a tad, um, than the 91 yellow box. It looks like we've probably got let's see. About eight cards thicker than the old 91, uh, early 90s, I should say, plaid bags. So it is actually a little bit thicker than some of the older decks. But then when we look at the flexibility in the cards, these ones definitely, if I were to bend the early 90s as far as I can bend these, without any damage to these cards with the plastic ones, then this one would definitely probably pop a huge uh, fold or you know, crease in the card somewhere from me trying to bend it that far. Um, and so far, this has been my favorite card stock in my collection is this early 90s yellow box. It shuffles amazingly, right? Um, but now that these plastic ones are in, they are so much more malleable. I've always kind of avoided the whole plastic card thing, to be honest, because I didn't know how they were going to feel. Um, but in the interest of my newfound 
dive down the yellow box rabbit hole, I kind of felt like it was pertinent to get the plastic edition of it as well. Um, but the cards feel great. Um, like I said, you can, it's going to shuffle amazingly. Um, they feel good in the hand too. So yeah, that's the plastic, the 100% plastic Rider Tarot deck. Um, so yeah, glad that I got this one in. I thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little bit while we unbox this particular deck. I'm going to go ahead and get him all packed back up into the box there. So yeah, I like the box too. It fits the deck nicely. Um, rather sturdy as well. So the box here is definitely um, different than your yellow box like your normal yellow box but if i'm not mistaken all of the same information is there it's just printed in different places um so yeah that is the 100 percent plastic rider tarot deck uh, like i said i appreciate you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me and going over the new deck that i just got in um Appreciate you for the, you know, continually coming back to hang out with me and stuff. I appreciate you guys. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will continue to see you on the next one. Catch you then.